Hey, what's going on? If you want to get a complete system that makes melting fat easy and is 100% automated, then I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of your page right now. Um, YouTube doesn't let me make that link clickable, so you're gonna actually gonna have to type it into your browser. Or I also put a uh, copy of the link in the description, so you can click on that or type it into your browser. All right. For now, enjoy the video, and after you're done with this video, make sure to go to that link to get a complete fat melting system. So now we're gonna get into one of the most devastating style of strikes you could do, which is ground and pound. And uh, there's a real specific type style of doing it, and if you know a couple details, you'll be a way more effective at being able to strike somebody when you're on top of them. Uh, this is really effective uh, in a self-defense situation. If you're on, you know, you take someone down, you need to be able to you know, control them and finish them, and, and on top of that, not be able to get caught in submissions or, or hit yourself. And uh, for competition, this is, this is huge. Uh, if you've ever seen um, in, in mixed martial arts, cage fighting, when the guy's on top, 99% of the time, the judge's eyes, he's winning, and most of the time, he's doing most of the damage. So check it out, Ando's gonna demonstrate. Um, I'm gonna teach her as we go. So ground and pound. We're gonna start from the guard position. So Ando's gonna be in my guard. All right, now when you're ground and pounding somebody, you wanna make sure that you always have good posture. Always when you're on top of somebody, you have good posture. So she's sitting on her butt, okay? She's all the way back. She's keeping her head up. Her, her back is bowed nice and strong, and she's not letting me pull her in, okay? Exactly, she's controlling me. She's controlling my hips, controlling my shoulders, all right? Nice control, she's not letting me turn, okay? And now she's gonna set up her ground and pound. So what I like to do when I ground and pound is I like to be far back so I get a nice runway for my hands. I control the hips. And from here, we're looking for quality, not quantity, all right? So we're gonna do for quality strikes. So as she gets control of the hips, she feels strong, I'm not pulling her, pulling her down. She's gonna arch back in one hand and just do a traditional strike to the face, bop. Exactly, okay? Now you can do this, our regular strikes, right? So give me the left hand. Just regular punches, boom. Punches, boom. Now the key to this is that when you're doing ground and pound, you don't want to look, you don't want to be, like, there's only two styles of uh, being on top of somebody. One is you're all the way on top of them, smothering them, or two, you're all the way away from them, okay? So when you're doing ground and pound, you don't want to lean your head down, because if you're leaning your head down, get close to me, lean your head down, and she throws that right hand, throws that right hand, I'm gonna push it back, and now you can get triangle, you can get caught in situations like that, all right? So you want to keep good posture, head up, you're pretty much just looking at the bottom, like with the bottom half of your eyelids, just looking down. See how she's looking down at me now? <laughs> Give me that scolding look. And she can throw strikes in there. She's gonna punch, boom, good. Punch, boom. And when she punches, she's gonna arch that shoulder, she's gonna cock the shoulder. And what I mean by that is instead of just coming here and using that tricep, she's gonna arch the shoulder back. See how the shoulder comes back? And now you can really come with the punch. Bah. Perfect. Now, let's get into some other strikes. And these strikes are great, but we're gonna teach two more, right? Let's do the hammer fist and the Fedor, okay? Fedor punch is really effective. If you don't know who Fedor is, he's a really famous uh, mixed martial artist. He uh, was at one time, he was like an undefeated 30 you know, kind of guy, but that's old school. If you don't know who he is, look him up later. But Fedor Emelianenko, he, he invented this punch pretty much. But first, let's go into the hammer fist. So the hammer fist, just like so, like, like so, like here, we're gonna pretty much hammer the nail. So she comes up, pulls back, and hammers down. Boom, exact, bah, okay? She's picking all the way up. You wanna arch that shoulder, arch that shoulder, and then come down. Boom, perfect. This is a really good strike because it's really versatile. She can come down the middle, so if I'm, I have a guard, she can come straight through it. Is this, I can't block this way. Or if I'm here, now she can come sideways, boom, and knock me out that style. It's a really effective punch. You're hitting with it, like you call it a hammer fist. You can hammer any style you want, all right? So that's a hammer fist. The other style is the Fedor punch, okay? Now the Fedor punch, I'm gonna try to teach Angela right now. You have a closed fist. All right, now as you turn this punch over, you're gonna turn your knuckles, the only try to hit with these two knuckles, so you're gonna come in a big wide, come around, and your chore hit me upside down, just like that, and it's actually good, perfect, like so. So instead of the regular punch where you come down the middle, or a hook, you come down the side, it's like a, 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 a vertical hook, she's coming up and down, and you see how she comes with these two knuckles, she wants, you pretty much want the back of your hand facing your chest, and now it comes down, bah, and it's an extremely powerful punch, is what you're doing is you're lining up your, your, your wrist with your form as you're coming down, and you're, you should be able to see the back of your wrist, uh, back of your hand. So Andrew's gonna do it one more time, the failure punch, boom, good. It's an extremely strong punch, and you can really throw your shoulder into it as you do it. And these strikes, they can be done from, from uh, mount, they can be done from side control, uh, all different areas, but right now we're working on the guard, because the guard is you know one of the top places where we do ground and pound from, the guard and half control. But uh, you can mix it up. But right now, I just want you to practice it from guard. So to recap it. We have our regular strikes, okay? She's punching regularly. Boom, regular strikes, bah, hooks, our jabs, our crosses. Then we have our hammer fist. You can hammer fist me. Bah, exactly, sideways, okay? And then we have our Fedor punch. 
Finger up punch goes all the way around, looping, really powerful. Wind up punch, boom, perfect. All right. On top of that, the most important thing when you're doing ground and pound is you want to stay uh, keeping in control of good posture, either all the way up or all the way down. If she's all the way down, she's here, boom, and then she sits up and throws a short little punch, sit up and punch, bah, and then she goes back down, okay? So those are the only two styles. Never want to see you halfway in the middle because that's how you get smid and that's how you can hit as well. You either want to be really close, striking, or you want to be really far away, striking, okay? So um, now we're going to get into the drilling and show you some drills for this, and uh, you're going to be freaking awesome with ground and pound, you would be a killer. I want to get into some drills for ground and pound now. Uh, I have a, a, a bag that's made for ground and pound. It really doesn't matter. You can use whatever. Um, sometimes hey, what's going on? If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a huge favor and click on the like button below. Uh, you'll get your good deed for the day out of the way. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. Something as simple as good video or I enjoyed the video. Uh, it really helps me out with YouTube. All right, here's the rest of the video. You know, maybe you have a, uh, maybe you're at home and you have a heavy bag. You just take the heavy bag and lay it flat. It works as a perfect ground and pound. Um, you can use pillows for ground and pound. You can use whatever you like, all right? But I have this. So for ground and pound, we're going to go over the strikes we learned. Right. So we keep good posture, head up, back straight, controlling. My strikes, I have my regular strikes so I'm just crossing, ah, ah, hook, whatever, all right? So we have those strikes. We have our hammer fist, hammer fist, and we have our fade or punch. We come around, hit, like so. So I do see the back of my hand. So this is what it looks like. It's a really hard punch. One of the most devastating ground and pound punches. Good. I can do that. I can mix up my punches. Fade or hammer, and elbow, boom, and everything, okay? The elbows are, you can use that you learn on your back as well. But right now, focusing on our regular punches, our hammer fist, and our fade or, okay? Now, how we're gonna drill this is we're gonna work for quality, like I said before. Quality, not quantity. You can throw a million little punches, it won't knock somebody out. If we throw three big ones, it's gonna knock somebody out. And we're gonna conserve our energy and use it when it counts, when we get those openings. So, we're gonna throw three strikes, and after three strikes, we're gonna move position. So, it's gonna look like this. We're going to throw three strikes, and then we're going to move, okay? So maybe I'm in guard, now I'm going to go to side control, get off to the side of the bag. Boom. Three strikes. Hammer. Punch. Hammer. Then I'm going to go to the other side. Other side control. Hammer. Punch. Whatever you want. Punch. And I go back to the middle, okay? So we're just moving. You're just going to practice moves, so it'll keep you active, work your cardio a lot, at the same time we're drilling our strikes. because. In reality, whenever you're hitting somebody, they're always going to move. They're not going to be able to just hit somebody, hit somebody, hit somebody. You hit, even if you hit a blind man, the guy's going to move. All right? So you hit them, we move, Bob, they're going to move, and we hit them again. So that's the drill. Uh, I like to do this for three three-minute rounds at minimum. Uh, you can increase it if you'd like, but three three-minute round, three, three rounds, practicing our regular punches, our hammer strikes, and our fade or our punches. And working uh, three strikes, move, three strikes, move. And the more comfortable you get, the faster you're going to move. All right? This is going to really you know, improve your cardio a lot. On top of that, you're strengthening all those core muscles. It takes a punch, and we're getting a lot better and a lot more efficient at ground and pound. So I really love ground and pound. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, it's, it's awesome because you get to be on top of somebody, and most of the time they can't hit you back, and they have to worry about either getting up or submitting you, and you're only doing the strikes. So uh, this is an awesome, really, really good strength and conditioning uh, like, you know, circuit I like to go through uh, to get better at my, my ground and pound. It involves all cores. Ground and pound's all core. You want to strengthen your core and uh, be able to pull those, those hands back and really strike hard. And striking hard for this, since we're on our knees most of the time in ground and pound, it's all core. You don't really get a chance to use your legs that much. So it's all with a twisting motion. So uh, we're gonna go over it right now. I'm gonna show you a circuit I like to do. I like to do 30 seconds each one, and I go through it uh, for six minutes. I do two six minute rounds. You can alternate it if it's six minutes is too long. You can do two three minute rounds, but I do 30 second intervals, and I just really pump it out as quickly as possible, transition as quick as possible. So I start off with bag slams. Angela's gonna demonstrate, she knows how to do all this stuff. So she's gonna do bag slams right now. Bag slams, you wanna make sure you keep your back straight, and you're using that core to pick it up, your lower back and everything. You know, lower back's really important. You're on top of somebody, and they try to pull you down, get your lower back to arch back up. So Angela's gonna run through it. She's gonna start with the, with the bag slams. Here she goes. So bag slams, like I said, you can use anything for this, uh, but we have this bag right here, so she's gonna pick it up over and slam it hard, good. And the big thing is being able to slam it hard, so we're gonna grab it, keep it going, keep it going. Good. So she's gonna, she's gonna keep on slamming it nonstop. This is what I want it to look like. She picks up over her shoulder, slam, pick up over the other shoulder, and slam. She wants to slam it, she wants to slam it as hard, and as fast as many times she can in that 30 seconds. Keep on slamming, keep on slamming. You want to slam it a lot. As soon as she's done with that, she's going to go to a plank. Okay? She slams that, she's going to plank. Plank for me, plank for me, good. She's going to plank on her elbows and her toes. 
And what she's doing during this plank, you got the waist, you see? What she's doing during this plank is she's gonna go hip to the hip. So you want to go hip to the ground, hip to the ground. And what this is gonna do, it's really gonna help you get that twisting motion when you're trying to do those strikes and try to punch somebody. So you do this for 30 seconds and blast them out hip to hip, hip to hip. And this is getting her core used to rotate so she can get those hard punches. Now, as soon as she's done that, boom, she jumps, lays on her back. She's gonna get on her back now. She's gonna take the dumbbells. It's gonna make it so she can really fire those strikes out really fast uh, when she's on ground pound. So she's just gonna go nice and non-stop, one, good, and twist as she goes. Exactly, just like so. Dumbbell uh, weight, you can vary depending on, on, on your fitness level, but you wanna be able to do it for 30 seconds. And you wanna go even a little faster, man. The is gonna go faster, exactly. And so you're doing this, boom, 30 seconds. It's gonna increase that hand speed on top. It's gonna work your triceps, your pecs, everything. So, and did a great job of that. She did, she, did, she did one round of it, but your goal is to do 30 second intervals, uh, three minute, minute rounds minimum. I like to do two six minute rounds minimum, but three minute rounds is great. If you do six minutes, it's awesome, but play with the rounds. Uh, I like to you know, always do interval training, so, uh, because I, you know, I train for professional fights, so intervals. And they also get your heart rate up and slow you down. It's so really good for burning fat. So play with the intervals, but you can do three minute rounds with one minute break and do another three minute round. The goal is just get this around this round done at least two times, and you'll see an immediate impact. You know, in your overall fitness level, uh, your physique, and on top of that, you get better at ground and pound. A hey, real quick, one more thing before you go, I want to make sure you know that there is no correlation between how hard you work and how much fat you melt or how much muscle you build. All right. There's enough science, enough data out there that there's absolutely no correlation between hard work and results. All right, there's a difference between movement and achievement. All right, if you want to learn my best tips, what I call the five percent hacks that allow you to get maximum results, maximum fat loss, maximum lean muscle gain, I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of this page, or you can click on the link in the description. All right, you're going to get a complete system for melting fat in an intelligent and streamlined system. I'll see you there.